Hey, Coin Pusher fans, and welcome back to We Play You Win. Tonight, live streamers are trying to play this simple game in the Coin Pusher. They need to get the orange token right here, the mummy, out of the Coin Pusher before Angry Mom and the train. Everyone knows the trains and Angry Moms are faster than mummies, and so the odds are stacked against the players. Mummies are the slowest, or one of the slowest things you can have in a Coin Pusher. And just like in the Kentucky Derby today, which I watched, um, this the piece with the worst odds at winning actually won. It was a crazy three minutes to watch. And today the Coin Pusher fans on on YouTube are trying to get this piece out for the, for the uh, Angry Mom and Train Escape. All right, Alexa, activate the Coin Pusher. Here we go. Chat's telling you to go ahead and play right up the middle, so that's what we're gonna do. And they tell me to stack. A little over half the people right now are telling me to stack, so we are looking at our stackometer up there, and the stackometer says stack, stack. We got more than eight people telling me to stack. It's more than half the people playing right now. So we're just gonna keep stacking quarters until they time out or they decide not to stack. You know, it's strange to think about the odds that things happening. You know, what are the odds of a quarter flipping heads or quarter flipping tails? What are the odds of a quarter consecutively flipping heads twice in a row or three times or four times? Odds and statistics are kind of a fun area of math, if you could say that. Um, not everybody is a fan of math. I, I admit I have always struggled in the art of mathematical computation. But I always wished I was a strong person with math. So, but I gotta tell you, wishing that you're good with math doesn't actually help you be better at math. It just makes you just continue to wish, oh, I wish I was better at math. Oh, I wish I was better. It doesn't get you very far. And this mummy is wishing the quarters would start pushing it further because it needs to get ahead of the train and angry mom. Now there are, and there goes angry mom taking the lead. Now there's a lot of things you can compute the odds on. Playing coin pusher is not necessarily one of them. There's not, I mean, you could try to figure out the odds of uh, quarters moving a particular direction. I suppose you could study a coin pusher long enough and gather enough analytical data. But even so, they tend to be rigged in the, in the house's favor. They're not really set up like a gambling machine. They're just set up as a skill game that's in in intended to milk the money of whoever's playing it. Okay, here comes good push. Oh, the train moved, angry mom moved. Train moved, and angry mom moved again, but the mummy is staying put. We are stacking in the middle. And when you're stacking, you kind of rapid fire to get them to stack as quickly as you can. Yeah, you do get some that are rolling. Chat's advising me to aim. Well, you can see the folks on the video later that you can actually see that I am aiming. And chat's telling me to stop stacking, so I'm gonna stop stacking. Oh, big push. There goes the mummy, breaking left towards Angry Mom. Another little push. We are still dropping quickly. Quarters are still rolling fast. I suppose I could drop slowly. Here, we'll do one quarter. But even with one quarter, they like to roll like that one did. I mean, it looks like I'm not playing in the middle, but I am. See, look at that, two quarters and one, and they both kind of roll. All right, chat is still not telling me to stack significantly. Oh, those, those pushes came and they came on the sides. 
Oh man, I. No matter how these quarters are falling, even if they land, they're rolling or bouncing to the sides. Okay, here's a good push right at the middle. And the mummy moved. The mummy moved. No quarters off that pusher shelf yet. That's right up the middle. Now, if someone had told me yesterday, asked me yesterday, what are the odds of finding a bunny rabbit in your front yard? I would have said pretty low. But now they appear to be everywhere. I am seeing bunny rabbits all over the place. I think they're just cottontails. They happen to be young rabbits looking for new territory, perhaps. Okay, chat is still playing right up the middle. Still right up the middle. And another quarter. Another quarter down. See, not very many people are telling me to stack. And no extra push. Oh, here we go, big push right up the center. You know, you'd think Angry Mom would be running quickly or the train would just be chugging away. I think it is the train. I think the train is in the lead. Thankfully, the mummy has two chances to outrun these pieces. Okay, carefully dropping right up the middle. Again, Chat needs to get this orange piece out of the machine before Angry Mom or the, and the train. May the odds forever be in Chat's favor. And Chat is telling me to stack. Now sometimes when we're playing games like this, somebody in Chat decides to uh, play opposite of everybody else. Everyone's saying play in the center. They say, well, I'm going to play on the left because no one's saying to play the center. And sometimes they can convince everybody in chat to start playing in a different direction. Well, that's kind of fun. Oh, another push. That's the wrong side. That train is about to tip over. And there's no telling which direction it will tip Chad has turned off the stackometer. They say, just give us some pushes. There's a straight big push right there. Another big push. Angry Mom's moving. You know, maybe, maybe we just can't reproduce the Kentucky Derby twice in one day. There goes Angry Mom. Hey, Chad is telling me to stack in the middle. no matter where the quarters are going, they are not going where they're supposed to. And just stacking. Oh, nope. I am no longer stacking. Here we go. No push. Chad is now all over the all over the place with directions. They're saying center, center right. So we're going to start dropping quarters, center, center right, non-stacking. See those little green indicators? That's telling me that the majority are instructing me to play. Oh, the train is jiggling. They say center right. They're going for the train. I don't know what they think they're doing. I think somebody wants to go for a little train ride. And it's a steam train, it's a steam engine. 
twisting. Oh, there it goes, and the train has fallen on the back left-hand side of the machine, all the way back there. We'll see where chat wants to go next. Maybe this is their plan, continue, you know, sacrifice the train to get more quarters pushing on the mummy. The train's now over the left-hand side with angry mom. Hopefully she doesn't hop on that train and go for a ride. Okay, center right. Angry mom is jiggling. The mummy looks quite content. We've got a neighbor who uh, works for one of the railroads and is also into model railroading. When my son was a, uh, a younger man, he, one of his, I mean, he plays, he still plays fiddle today, but one of his fiddle instructors was really into model trains as well. And we go to the train shows. Oh, there goes the, oh, mummy is down. And the mummy is here on the left, right behind the train. Angry mom is still standing. I'm gonna let chat catch up and decide what they wanna do. Cause it's just changed. Everything just changed. So I wanna let chat have a moment with the lag catch up. But uh, Sherry and I used to go, went, went to the train shows and uh, just had some silly times at them. You know, it's kind of cool to be in the model trains, you know, but it does take up a lot of space. Okay, Chad appears to have caught up and they're telling me to play right up the center. There's a, uh, another channel here on YouTube. Oh, there goes Angry Mom. She did not fall out of play. She stayed in. It looked like she was about to get grappled by Klops and pulled out of play, but she dove in. So, there's a setup here. It could work to chat's advantage. But there's a, a YouTube channel, a small YouTube channel, a guy by the name of Willie B. McDirty. He's also a viewer here on YouTube. He happens to be in Idaho, like we're in Idaho. And he does some amazing model railroad track work. And when you look at those model railroad sets, the really big, the, the large, involved sets most of the material in those uh in those uh setups a lot of it's all built by hand and by pure love even the rails are split by hand or are made by hand which is impressive think about all the little soldering and stuff to make those uh little rail the railroad tracks it's pretty cool it's pretty cool all right we are still playing straight up the middle there's no stacking going on at this point it's a, currently a race between the mummy and the train with angry mom close behind. Clearly she must be riding on some extra fabric from the mummy. Another push, mummy is down. Oh, the mummy's on the lower layer. There's no quarters underneath the mummy. This could, this could work very well to chat's advantage. It means there's nothing to slip underneath the mummy. There's no quarters under the mummy. If the mummy stays like that all the way to the lip, it will not slide back into the machine. Chat says right, center, right, center. With the majority on the far right. And another push. We're now center right, right. And you know, uh, when you look at those model train sets, again, the big elaborate sets and there's little people all over the place. A lot of that is all, you know, hand painted. It's, you know, it's, it's interesting to see that. And I've known some really, some guys that are, you know, tough guys, macho guys. What do they like to do for fun? They like to go play with train sets. You know, go figure, you never know. Everybody gets to be a kid. Did the mummy just dig in? Chat's asking, yes, the mummy is digging in. Oh, sorry about the earthquake there. It's digging in over here on the left-hand side. It's underneath all the quarters. 
So this could work the chat's advantage at this point. Here we go. Okay, it's right, center right. And they're still sticking with center right. Nobody is telling me to stack. I said earlier, may the odds always be in, in, in their favor. And it looks like they are. We might have a breakout win, just like in the Kentucky Derby. Strike it rich. Here in the point pusher tonight. Mummy is now halfway across the play field, buried underneath the quarters again. Nothing has slipped underneath it. This, this could be the magic play. You know, setting this up tonight, I didn't think this would happen. Must be some magic in the air. Oh, big push. Angry Mom, uh-oh, Angry Mom is on the lower layer, too. So, any, this game could completely change in a minute's minute notice. And we are now pushing center right, center. We got about 10 active votes right now. It doesn't take very many votes to change the game significantly. We have more than 50 people watching right now, but not very many voting. They must be in favor of how the votes are being cast. Straight up the middle. Oh, there goes Angry Mom chasing that train and chasing the money. Center right. Oh, they just told me to start stacking. Unbelievable. Not sure why they're stacking at this point. I think we've got some keen eyed players that see something going on. Another push. Okay, we are mummy is moving on up through the coin pusher. We are still stacking center right. Not getting pushes, but we don't need pushes at this point. We just want to build it up. Build it up. Build up the layers. This is like investing. You want to invest your quarters in the coin pusher for a future push. That's what stacking is. It's investing in a future push. So we are investing. Investing in some two and three layer pushes that might be coming up later. Oh, another push. Okay, the mummy is right here under, as I should say, is left over here underneath this stack of orange tokens. We are still stacking. And we've got, looks like we got three layers of quarters on the left. Cat is not letting up on the stack. The stack omer says, stack center right. Oh, it's off. It's off. Wait. Chat switched to a left hand push. We're going to go push left. They can smell the mummy coming out right now. They have chats all over the place. Left, center, center right. Oh, back to left. They're so close. 
They can smell the wrappings on the mummy, and they did. They pull out the win. Epic win in the coin center tonight, just like Strike It Rich in the Kentucky Derby, beating all the odds. No one expected a positive outcome. No one expected even placing, and they, they did. They knocked it out of the park. They beat the coin pusher, and they beat the house tonight. So it's time for some giveaways. We're going to go give away a bunch of prizes to the live streamers who are playing tonight because, hey, they won. They invested their money. There's no money. And they beat the coin pusher, which is awesome. But now you might be wondering, hey, I missed the live stream. Why, do I, why should I keep watching this video? Because you now have a chance at winning a prize as well. You see that red mystery bag down there in the coin pusher? Guess what? We give those away every Sunday on our Sunday live streams. All you have to do is comment on this video that you're watching right now and answer the following question in that comment. Tell me about an experience you had with odds. So, odds. I had to flip a quarter, and if I got heads, I had to brush my teeth with soap. If I got tails, I got to stand in the corner. Or you flip a quarter, and turn left and you met your spouse for the rest of your life. Or who knows what, tell me a story involving odds in some way, some part of your life. See, that's a mystery bag question right there. No particular wrong answer, just tell me a story about something that happened to you involving odds. What were the odds? Maybe you beat the odds of something. You were the last one in the grocery store one night and you got the 75% off coupon. You were checking out, you were a lucky customer number 100,000 in five and won a free bag of groceries. Who knows? Stories are everywhere. Let me know in a comment here on YouTube before our Sunday live stream. And if you don't have any stories involving odds, say, hey, what are the odds? I don't have any stories involving odds. I got no odds. That's okay. We'll still take your comment anyway. Thanks again for joining me. Appreciate you having fun. It's time for me to go give away prizes to live streamers and for you to leave that comment here on YouTube. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being the reason I smiled today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.